Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to rank every single assault rifle by their TTK. For you guys who don't know, TTK is also known as time to kill. It's basically the time it takes to kill an enemy from a certain distance. Fire rate and damage model are two main factors that determine the time a weapon needs to kill one enemy, but there's also distance that plays a big role. My target distance here for today's video is under 40 meters, which is usually a common range for assault rifle gunfights, and I believe it's a fair distance to rank these weapons without doing any harm to close range or long range assault rifles. Also, I will give you the setup you need to get the fastest TTK out of every weapon, and I will be also giving you a small chart in the end of the video, so you guys can easily compare the weapons side by side. Keep in mind that we start from the worst to best, so the video gets more interesting towards the end of the video, where the gaps start to get smaller and smaller. So without further ado, let's just get things going. At number 10, we've got the AC-42. Now, it wasn't a big surprise to me that AC-42 had the slowest TTK among all the assault rifles. After all, this weapon is the only burst fire AR out there in 2042, and with that fire rate, it makes sense for the TTK to go higher. The TTK of this weapon is 361.57 milliseconds, but there is also a catch with the AC-42. I believe it's some sort of a glitch, and I haven't seen anyone pointing this out, but no matter what kind of ammo you use, the burst fire RPM stays the same, meaning that the fire rate won't change. And that's not even all. Extended barrel, which is supposed to give you some muzzle velocity in the expense of some fire rate, is not exactly doing that. Actually, you don't get the fire rate penalty, and so there is no logical reason not to use the extended barrel on the AC-42. AC-42 is also a very decent weapon in medium range, so do make sure to play the weapon regardless of its TTK in under 40 meters. For the setup, however, the ammo you need to be using is the standard issue extended, then standard issue, and then high power. Champion muzzle break for barrel, then for under barrel, you need the STNR laser sight, since this weapon really needs some more fire accuracy. Then high explosive grenade and incendiary. You can also use the smoke grenade on the grenade launcher as well, and that's just up to you. Finally, use your own weapon sights and your setup will look like this. At number 9, we've got the AK-24. AK-24 is really a capable weapon, there is absolutely no denying that, but the fire rate kind of holds it back. The TTK on the AK-24 is 333.75 milliseconds, and comparing it to the AC-42, there's already a big difference here. AK-24 supports two different ammo, standard issue and high power, and the standard issue performs slightly better. Despite being the second worst assault rifle in terms of TTK, a drum mag and very competent damage drop-off numbers make this weapon a very decent choice, so don't get disappointed on the AK and make sure to give it some extra love. For the setup, Arcan Tactical Muzzle Break should be your go-to option, and if I want to be absolutely honest with you, that's the only attachment I use for the barrel. For under barrel, I'd go with the LWG grip and pair it with the armor piercing under barrel grenade launcher and then the master key for close range. Then for ammo, standard issue drum, then standard issue extended, and then standard issue should be okay. Then use whatever scope you want and you're good to go, and here's the setup. At number 8, we've got the M416, a Battlefield Classic, which is a vault weapon in Battlefield 2042, and despite having little to no attachments, this weapon already has a faster TTK than two main game weapons, and that's actually incredible. The TTK on this thing is 312 milliseconds, and it's kind of way faster than the AK-24. Feels good to have a classic weapon performing good. I know it's not the best out there in terms of TTK, but the weapon itself and the classic feeling it gives you is worth a lot. For the setup, stick with the factory barrel, but for underbarrel, LWG grip should go to the first slot, then M26 mass buck, and M320 high explosive. For ammo, just use everything you've got since you don't get to choose and your choices are limited. And for weapon sight, it's your own choice as well, so here's how the setup should look like. At number 7, we've got two weapons having exactly the same TTK, AK-5C and M16A3. This is really surprising to me because the Vault Weapon M16 has the same TTK with the latest assault rifle in the game. They both have a TTK of 290 milliseconds. The AK-5C in Battlefield 2042 is a remarkable weapon solely because of its long-range capabilities. It's just way better than Battlefield 4's AK-5C to be honest. On the other hand, M16 is truly an iconic weapon and feels really strong, so both weapons are actually pretty decent weapons. Now moving on to setups for each weapon, and let me just start with the AK-5C. Now for the barrel, I only stick to Champion Muzzle Break for under barrel, LWG Grip, then Armor Piercing, Grenade Launcher, and then Master Key is your way to go. The best ammo for TTK is High Power, so you gotta go with the High Power first, the Extended one, then High Power, and then Close Combat Extended, since Close Combat is second best ammo type on AK-5C when it comes to TTK, and here's the setup. 
Now moving on to the M16A3, again I like to have my champion muzzle break, then for under battle the LWG grip is a great way to increase accuracy since the M16 is lacking it really, then M26 mass buck and M320 high explosive. You don't have a choice for ammo so you gotta use what you've got and here's the setup at its final four. At number 6 we've also got two weapons, SCAR and the A91. This was really surprising to say the least, a weapon as strong as the SCAR getting a tie with the A91 which is a weapon that literally nobody plays with. The they can both have a TTK of 289 milliseconds at best and that is only one millisecond slower than AK-5 C and M16 so we've got a pretty close competition here. For the setup and attachments let me start with the SCAR because it's a more complicated weapon. So for the barrel I'd stick to Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake to avoid the horizontal recoil. Then for under barrel I go with Armor Piercing, then High Explosive and then Incendiary. You can always set the priority as you like. Now for ammo, SCAR's best ammo is high power, so you better go with that. First high power drum, then high power, and then standard issue, and here you have the setup. For A91, I find it easier to control the recoil when using the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake. Then I use the LS1 laser sight for better hipfire accuracy. You don't have a choice for ammo, so use everything available, and here's the setup for the A91. At number 5 we've got the ACR with a TTK of 286 milliseconds. ACR is hands down my all time favorite weapon in Battlefield games and despite being a rather unsuccessful weapon in the real world because it was never adopted by any military, it still is an iconic weapon for both Battlefield and Call of Duty players. Unfortunately the ACR is lacking some all out warfare attachments as well but nevertheless it's still better than some main game weapons. For the setup I'd go with Factory Barrel, it's literally the only option you have that leaves your weapon accuracy intact. Then for Under Barrel go with the SCNR laser site and again for ammo you don't have a choice use all you've got and here's the exact setup we were talking about number four we've got the am40 and this russian assault rifle has a ttk of 278.5 milliseconds am40 is still one of the best close range assault rifles in the game it's so powerful that it can even compete against some of the smgs in close quarters even though it recently got nerfed just a little bit the weapon is still in one piece and you can call it a solid assault rifle am40 is also a great weapon for longer ranges if you know how to use it just select the single fire firing mode and start spamming your target like a DMR and I promise you you'll thank me later. For the setup just go for the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break. This will help you avoid the horizontal recoil it has by nature. Then go for the MGL Laser Sight so you get some more hip fire accuracy and believe me you're gonna need it on this weapon. For ammo the best TTK you can get is by using the high power so go for the high power extended then high power and then standard issue drum and here's the setup. At number 3 we've got another Battlefield Classic, the G36C. This gun is hard hitting, pretty much easy to get used to and on top of all that it's one of the best assault rifles in Battlefield 2042. The TTK is 277.5 which makes it only 1 millisecond faster than the AM40. The only issue with the G36 is the 30 round per mag limit that it has and it makes you want to reload all the time. Other than that it's a straight up beast of a gun. For the setup I always use the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake for the horizontal recoil. Then the SCNR laser sight for more hip fire accuracy because this weapon is lacking in that department. For ammo, the fastest TTK goes to standard issue, so use it first, then high power extended, and then high power. And lastly, here's the setup. Moving on to number two, we've got four weapons. That's right, four weapons with the same TTK. These weapons are VHX D3, M5A3, AEK971, and MTAR21. All of these weapons have a TTK of 267 milliseconds, making each one of them one of the fastest killing machines in the game. Now let's start with the M5A3 and jump straight to the setup for this gun. To get the fastest TTK you need to use the shortened barrel. For under barrel, LWG grip with the high explosive grenade launcher and the master key is the way to go. Now what's interesting about this weapon is the ammo type. M5A3 can only achieve its fastest TTK with subsonic rounds. So Go ahead and use them in the first slot, then standard issue extended, and then standard issue, and finally, here's the setup. For the VHX D3, I'd go for the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake and LWG Grip. Then you can also use the high explosive and smoke under barrel grenade launchers to have some more firepower. For ammo, you gotta stick with the standard issue extended, then standard issue, and then high power, and here's how the setup should look like. Now let's take a look at the AUK971. Again, I'd like to run my Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake here with an LS1 laser sight. You can also add the HE and LVG ammo for the under barrel grenade launcher. For ammo, you don't have a choice, so go ahead and use everything you've got, and here's the final setup. And lastly, for the MTAR21, factory barrel is your best option. If you want a suppressor, that's up to you, but generally, I don't use suppressors on my assault rifles that often. Then LWG grip for the more accuracy that it gives you, and use everything available for ammo since you don't have a choice. Finally, here's how the setup should look like. 
And finally, at number one, we've got the almighty, always overpowered RM68, which wins the competition with a big lead. The TTK of this weapon with the right attachments can be as fast as 245 milliseconds, making it even comparable to SMGs, and it has a difference of 22 milliseconds compared to the four weapons at number two. It's incredible how strong this weapon still is after getting nerfed many times. It's still the king of assault rifles and numbers are a proof to that. For the attachments, you gotta use the shortened barrel for some more fire rate, then LWG grip and the high explosive under barrel grenade launcher for more firepower. For ammo, if you want the maximum TTK, you gotta go for the high power. So high power, then standard issue extended, and then standard issue, and here's the final setup. With all that said, we've got all the assault rifles ranked from worst to best by their TTK. Here is also a ranking chart with all the TTK numbers so you can compare the weapons side by side. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this video was helpful. If you want the same video made for other weapon classes, make sure to comment down below and let me know that. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay cool.